What should you really be drinking your Mountain Dew out of? Let's talk about that. Mythical morning. I've never really been a fan of the saying, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Mm. It feels unnecessarily violent. How about we start saying, there's more than one package to eat your snack out of. I like that. It gets the same point across, and most importantly, it's true. Right, there are so many different ways to keep your favorite snacks contained as you enjoy them. Bags, cans, jars, etc. Mm -hmm. So we were curious to find out which ones are truly best, and curiosity skin the cat, you know. <laughs> oh, I know. So after a little bit of research, the Mythical Crew has found the answers we were looking for and turned them into a game as they do best. It's time for What's the Best Package for Your Snackage? Decision 2024. Okay, baddies, in front of you are Cheetos in four different containers and packages. According to the American Coalition of Nutritional Health and Wellness, one of these vessels is the definitive best for eating Cheetos from. So go ahead and taste each, and okay. then you're going to place your hands over the one you think that is. You've okay. had them out of a bag before? Yeah, starting there. Boy, I always look I always look for the, for the little ones. They're so much better. The bigger they are, the harder they fall down my throat. Why don't you like the big ones? The cheese to corn ratio, man. Cheese to corn ratio. And in a bag, it's like, it's hard to see the ones that I really want to go for. Which is one of the things that I love about this. you just call this a tray? It's like a silverware organizer. Oh, okay, okay yeah, yeah, Open yeah. a drawer, oh, my Cheeto drawer. I don't have one of those, but um, well, maybe I should. The interesting thing that you, the, one of the things that you can do with this is you can begin to organize them if you're really into the different sizes. Ooh, don't make me horny. If you wanted to start, I mean, I don't want to do it because I'm not actually not interested in it, but I could have small, small, medium, medium, small. Oh, large, it's happening. And it is large. happening. What's happening? Don't you do it. Hold on, you looked down and said, Did it, I, I said extra large, and then you looked down and said, it is happening. <laughs> I, I'm telling you. If it, 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 even more than stink, organization make me horny. Okay. Um, they taste better too. Something about them being in open air. And I feel like if you were to bring these into a party, everyone would know exactly what you had. <laughs> yeah, a silverware tray. Right. With Cheetos in it, which is quite novel. Now people wouldn't know what you had if you brought that Mountain Dew can in. Hey, uh, what's Rick drinking? Oh, I think it's Mountain Dew. No, it's actually Cheetos. Uh, don't tell anybody. So this is like a clandestine way to. Come on, come on. There we go. One. There's one. What's Rick? Oh, Rick's drinking. I got a big one. I got a big one. His Mountain Dew is coming out in a weird way. Oh, like he's feeding Steve. Hey, I like the Mountain Dew. Oh. There he goes. goes. Yeah. So, that, so it takes a while. It takes a little work. I wonder by the end of that exercise, like how much Cheeto dust would be at the bottom. Ooh, that would be nice. Whoa, you had you put, whoa! Uh, popcorn! Wow. So I got one immediately. It's kind of fun. Yeah, it's- And it's a little clandestine, so I do like that. It's like Mountain Dew roulette. Uh, but moving on to our final container, a Vaseline container. Uh, oh, that one didn't open like I thought it would. I thought it would. the whole thing would come off. Well, when was the last time you opened Vaseline? Flip top. <laughs> uh, it's been a while, huh? Yeah, it, it has been a while. Yeah. Here it is, though. Boy. And you can still see what you're getting because of the translucent sides of a Vaseline mm -hmm. And if you want to like, kind of kind of like scrape the sides, get a little bit of that petroleum jelly on you. I do feel like it's sliding down my throat a little bit better than normal. No, it really slides out of the container, right down the throat. I think I might be able to swallow one of these without chewing. Any other advantages? It's it's um resealable. No, I can't. You didn't? I tried. Maybe a little one. Um, I think these are these stand to be the freshest Cheetos for the longest. Um, more, more so than this. Okay. And the have open you camera. have you experienced? Yeah, Because yeah, you're competing I, I against one, each other. I know so. which one I'm into. Okay. So um, on the count of three, you're going to put your hand over the one that you think is factually the best. Okay. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Hmm. Okay, no, you locked in? Okay. No, it's what? fresh, a little greasy. I'm gonna eat all these in one sitting. Oh, the best okay. option 
according to the ACNHW, is the bag. This is due to Cheetos' unpredictable size, girth, and cheese dust particulate ratios as measured by particle size distribution, also known as PSD. Okay. This is the best? This is the bag? Right. Yeah, factually. Weird. Boring. Next up, we have Ho-Ho's. What does the federal organization on the legislature of snacks say is the best packaging to enjoy Ho-Ho's from? Well, this one's hard to get into. You know, you have to you have to pull, you have to grip, you have to rip, uh, and then you get it. But once you get it, you do, if you don't want to touch the Ho-Ho, some people don't, you can just touch the plastic mm-hmm. and get a little bite. Here I am touching the whole Ho-Ho. I guess I don't care. So... Not loving that. But look at this. Ooh, Amazing. like, shall we call this a flute? <laughs> oh, congratulations. <laughs> that was so unlike you. <laughs> well, oh, wow. I mean, there's more ho-hos to come. I was just pacing myself a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, think about it. I mean, talk about it sliding right down. But boy, it's perfect. I did not know that a ho-ho was so drinkable. And I think I could toss one. What? Oh, oh. oh no, no, I, I, I did. I'm sorry, I didn't. I didn't. That came out a lot harder than I thought. But it did hit you in the mouth. It did. <laughs> did it hurt? Uh, my feeling. Yeah. <laughs> mostly, mostly the feeling right here. I only do that because you have glasses. It's like you're always wearing protection. Okay. I like how you seem so surprised about it. Because, but, but you're, but you totally telegraphed it. <laughs> You know, if you're gonna, if I'm gonna give you some notes on it, okay. don't start with. I think uh, I could throw this. <laughs> well, just, I just, wanted you to be ready. And and you know, I wanted you to be ready. I mean, I'll use yours. Okay, all right. And you know, hold on, it, I, hold I, on. It goes. We've real had fast. a little roll reversal here. It goes, it goes fast. I think you should have totally sucked down the whole thing, okay. and then I should have been the one, cause you know, to be like, wow, I, I I think this is great. I could take it anywhere. I could like, and I would just be <laughs> partying. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh. Yeah, it did. It did. <sighs> That's okay. You did better than me. But we had a lot of fun with that. That was good. That was good. Now and it really br- it upscales it. You know. What do we? Is this what I think it is? Yeah, it's panty ho hos. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's pleasant wow. looking. Oh. It kind of feels. It, it that is. Mm. That is a way to do it. Mm. I mean, you could. Mm. I will point out that you could, I mean, you, mm. could, you could bite it anywhere if you could bite it there. Mm. Uh, but you could also just, you know, reach down in it and get one. Well, the well, interesting what? thing is I've got a lot of flavor. Uh, Ew, gra- gra- <laughs> just try it. <laughs> you don't end up getting that, it's like a low calorie option. You know what I'm saying? It's like for the for the man who wants to taste a ho-ho, but not really from completely eat it. <laughs> it's pretty wild, huh? The part that comes out is the is the gooey. Uh, the gooey comes through. Yeah, it does. And if you combine the two, like, because I'm not quite done with that, and I want to just keep it for later. Just... I really like how it's turning it into like pudding. I really need something to weight down the bottom. I just set it on that side, maybe. Mm. They legitimately taste better through the pantyhose. Yeah, but it's a it is a little overwhelming, and but how and how does it look? Uh, I mean, contrary to the way the crew is reacting, I'm pretty into it. Yeah, especially that when you do that. Well, it's no longer celibacy week, so yeah, that's right. I mean, we you know we're really doing it to each uh, other today. Right. It's time to get it on. <laughs> it's get it on day. And finally, just to, oh oh no. Oh, what a no. yeah. What a, how did, where did those come out of the top? What an accident. Tie the top of your hose. Uh, what is this? A little, little. Do we need a, a key? Little... Oh, come on. It just opens. Oh. What? Are you going to sing? Are you going to sing, Jimmy? Uh, why in the back part? Are you going to sing, Jimmy? Why, why in the back part? <laughs> Wake up! Oh, look, we have another oh, one. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, just in case. Pay no attention to what, what you're looking at over there. Oh, look. Oh, look. Oh, look. If we've got anything around here, it's backups. You know how to do it, girl. 
Now this is an interesting little experience. It makes me feel like it's more of a, it's more of a moment in my life at this point. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not just a ho-ho, it's a ho-ho. Don't talk about her that way. So you can also like sl slice the ho-hos. And you can Come store on. it. You can store it, you can slice it, and there's a nice soundtrack when it works. Um, I don't know, man. All right. I'm really partial to uh, to these uh, flutes. Well, all right. Okay, which one's the factual best? Three, two, one. No way. Pudding maker. No way. No uh -huh. way it's this. I think it's probably this. The best packaging for ho-hos is the plastic sleeve. Experts at the FOOLS found that friction between plastic and the chocolate coating of the snack is far less than any other synthetic material, making it most ideal for sliding in and out of with a residue index of six over nine. Did you see how easily it slid out of this? Like that, uh, did they even test this? I don't understand. You're talking about that, Stevie? But, 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 but look at this. Six over nine? Look at that. Look at this. There's very little friction Stevie, with what he's doing. Stevie, look at what I'm doing and then what he's doing. Wait, which one are you looking at right now? Put one eye on each one. My eyes are closed. Did you notice my sweatshirt? Oh, I did, yes. This is an iconic moment from Good Mythical Past. I remember it very well. Now presently for sale at mythical.com for a very limited time for pre-order today through the 5th of April, 2024. This is a way to prove your mythical beasthood. Yep. Get this. Don't believe we're selling it? Go to mythical.com <laughs> and try to buy it. <laughs> That's right. According yeah. to the Provisional Research Association for Nutritional Knowledge, which is the best package for Mountain Dew Baja Blast? Which we keep on hand um, because the winner of the Willet Tournament last year who, who was that? Sierra. Sierra, Sierra, good old Sierra. <laughs> Said this was the snack that she wanted. Well, I mean. Uh, I've done that before. Yep. You know, out of a can. Yes, I do know it's out of a can. But out of a toothpaste container? That's why, and it's so taut. Like, look at that. Wow, be careful. Right. Wow. Oh. <laughs> oh, nice. Here, let me see if I got, I got a little, pssst, too. Oh, oh, that's so satisfying. That is fun. Wow. And then I guess, I mean. So, um, I gotta say I'm tasting a little bit of toothpaste. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, I'm definitely getting the blast, you know? It's called Baja Blast, but then. It's not necessarily a bad additive. That's the, it's a bigger blast. Um, which is great, and you can you can um, squeeze it to get different um, velocities. And I do of like entry. the way it fits in different pockets and stuff. You really can't do that with a can, and it's resealable. Right, so then yeah, it's resealable. Like, let me try to blast it into your mouth. <clears throat> like, <laughs> See? Uh, it was a little too intense for me. Oh really? Yeah. Well, it just hit the side of your, you know, it just hit the. But it was fun. You didn't want another blast? Uh, you know, I can give you one. Okay, yeah, give me one. I do want one. And I don't, but I don't want Baja Blast on my britches. <laughs> oh, yeah. That that is a cool little thing you can do. And I don't think. <laughs> and I don't think you have to brush. Uh, you know. Yeah, it does probably have like the fluoride mixing in there and then consuming it directly. Um, you know, if you if, if more than used for brushing is accidentally swallowed, get medical help or contact the poison control center right away. But I think it's just the residue, so it's probably not that big of a deal. Maybe, 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 maybe I have to sneeze. Stevie, now this is a sponge. Correct. Okay. Cool. Cool. So, uh, which makes sense because a sponge can hold Mountain Dew. And then we can hold a sponge. Oh, there's already it's already sopped up. Do you want to like do a do a back bend? I know you don't want it on your britches. I don't want it on my britches. Don't, don't overwhelm me though. I would never. <laughs> uh, did I overwhelm you? 
What? Well, the issue is it kind of goes in multiple places. Let me, let me demonstrate. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so you want to get it right there. And see how I'm directing it right there in there? And then if you just want to suck on it. Ew. Oh, gosh. Oh, hey, that's our blast. Sorry, sorry, That's sorry. our blast. Uh, mm, uh, I didn't know that Baja Blast would burn the eyes so that bad. Was, that, uh, that was scary. Uh, and what do we have here? Uh, but it's just a bird feeder. <laughs> Let me try that. And you can put this on a keychain. You can yeah. put it right there on a keychain and you hang it from your car and you re you're driving and you reach down and... You get quite a bit, actually. Uh, it might attract hummingbirds. Or ants. Yeah. They're gonna be all around my neck. <clears throat> all right, I'm ready to vote. It's I like the dosing of that, though. Hand over the best packaging in three, yeah. two, one. I'm going bird feeder, actually. Oh, you are? Yeah. I, I like the blast of the... Uh, oh, yeah, too much for me. The, the factual toothpaste. best packaging for Baja Blast is the can. Baja mm. Blast contains both high fructose corn syrup and sodium citrate ingredients okay. that, when combined, should only ever be contained in aluminum. The PR... A N K doesn't say exactly what happens when those ingredients are contained in something else, but it's probably not good. Huh, that's surprising to me. And finally, we have Pringles. According to the Department of Universal Munchie Briefing, only one of these containers is the one that should be holding your Pringles. The classic cylinder. There's a reason they're in this can. It doesn't take up any more space than it needs until you've eaten most of them. And there is the, a problem. Yeah. And the empty part is uh, unnecessary. Once it gets a little deep, it does get tough to get them out. Then you have to start turning them and then they start breaking. They them. compromise. Of course, um, keeping them in an old log. Is that just an old log or is it a is it a, like a, a decorative log? What is the official? It's a, it's a decorative, okay. like. Fish tank situation. Oh, decorative fish log. Yeah. Right? Fish tank log. It's a cylinder on its side. I like, again, how you know it's what more, you're getting. It's more beautiful. It looks like a mouth almost right there. Would not recommend putting your Pringles in an aquarium. Oh, but you, yeah, you can just, just the way that you could pick up the whole cylinder, you can pick up the log. And then you can pass it along. See, anybody gets one. Uh-huh. Um, I feel like these two are tied at this point. Both great, though. And what do we have here? Uh, baby Bjorn. Oh. Which is an amazing thing. Eat the baby. I feel no, like I can go low. No, don't use your hand. Uh. Don't you know how to eat a baby? You just, just Gucci, Gucci, goo. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 I'm not. Come on, Gucci, I'm not, Gucci, I'm not, goo. I'm not doing that. Uh -uh. I'm not gonna be on the internet doing something that will be later used against me in like a little clip. Oh. I'm not gonna do anything embarrassing See? myself. See, he does eat babies. I like the way come I on. can get at it at a lot of different places. Come on, eat the baby. Oh, oh, oh uh, come on, you're dropping them now. Uh, well, uh, I, I bet you, uh, I bet you it makes for quite like a reunion of friends. Well, that's a, that, I think that might be a weakness of this because if you haven't seen somebody in a oh, while. Right. Yeah, that's what I was thinking would be good though. And you're like, oh, hey, <laughs> hey, hey. hey. Oh, oh, it's, it's so it's disgusting! It's gonna be stained out! Oh, oh, you have a baby! Oh, gosh, what have you done to my Pringle baby? <laughs> uh, okay, well. I'm so sorry I didn't see him there. Some are still intact. Okay. Kinda. Yeah. yeah. So that's pretty nice. Finally, we have a. Does anybody hear a rain stick? <laughs> are we adding rain stick to the. To this episode? Is that an ant farm? This is an ant farm, bro. So um, adding ants would probably be amazing for the ants. Yeah, they would love would that. Would the ants get so fat that they wouldn't be able to crawl around? Uh, they would have trouble with it, actually, probably. So, how do you, yeah, you. You can shake, you just turn, turn it on and shake it, shake it, shake it around. There you go. It's, it's, it's pretty neat metered. 
<laughs> you feel like you're about to hit me in the face with that thing. Put my front tooth out. There you go. Oh, oh, there you there go. There you go. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, you're good. There's none on your mustache. Oh, it's not a pan flute. It feels like it, though. It's hard to get. I mean, how do you... Is there a way uh, to... I used to have these as a child. Oh, Turn it upside down. And then slide those out. Yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. I mean, I was going to... Just a little uh, more aggressive than I was hoping that you would do it. Um, but anyway, that is a way that you could eat Pringles. I think you guys got this one, right? Are you ready to... Well, I'm not voting for this. Ready to vote? Oh, yeah. I've noticed a pattern. Okay. Yeah. Best packaging according to science in three, two, one. Uh, yes, you were thinking what I was thinking. Right, because it usually ends up being the packaging. We learned, Stevie. The We've learned from the other rounds. Saddle shape of Pringles chips is mathematically known as a hyperbolic paraboloid. <laughs> and when yep. a hyperbolic paraboloid yep. is in close proximity to temperatures between 98 and 99 degrees, it reaches peak solidification, ensuring maximum crunch. And that is why the DUMB insists that the best package for Pringles is a baby Bjorn. Oh, really? We can't win for losing today. Yeah, unfortunately, you both did not win our prize, which was a slightly used 1999 Honda Accord. Oh, man. I've been looking for one of those. We could have won a car today. (laughs) I already have one of those, actually. Well, you know, thank you for all the research that you guys did and all those associations. Uh, I feel like I learned a lot. Yeah. And just a reminder, we are in full swing of spring break. So... Uh, we will not see you tomorrow. It's a Monday, Wednesday, Friday thing. So we'll see you day after tomorrow with a new episode. And happy Go At It Day. Yes, celibacy week is over. Woo! And if you're lucky, the Go At It Day fairy may have left a little lube under your pillow. Oh, is that what the fairy does? Yeah. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Eric. I'm Lisa. We are here at Valencia in the city of arts and science. It's and it's time to, to spin, spin the, the wheel, wheel of, of mythicality. That looks like the future. Fallacia? I don't know, man. I want to go, though. Okay. Click the top link to watch us match the crew to their yearbook photo in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is going to land. The internet really is forever. The brown fountain sweatshirt has landed for one week only at mythical.com. Snag it while you can.